What's going on YouTube? GS9 right here. So in today's video we're talking about the brand new kernel bug that was released by security researcher Brightia for iOS 15.1, 15.0 and stuff like that. This video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to drag and drop files directly to your device from your computer. Definitely check it out in the link below. Also huge thank you to the people who are supporting this channel on Patreon.com. You guys rock. So as you probably remember this security researcher Brightia a couple of months ago had a vulnerability that apparently was patched by Apple in 15.2. They posted this picture here back on November 2nd and as you can see from the picture they basically got kernel read and write, they managed to perform a read and the write in the kernel memory and even got the slide. So pretty good vulnerability, pretty nice and they even managed to get it more stable. Well it appears that today they posted this, quote the zero day of yesterday and they posted a link to this website here which is partially in Chinese, partially in English, which is basically their vulnerability that they exploited. This is CVE 2021-30955 and if you go ahead and search it here on the security content, you can see that it's basically a kernel vulnerability. It says a malicious application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges and it's from Conlon Lab. So that's basically it. This is the vulnerability. The information here basically explains what they did in order to exploit it, what they used, you know, what other materials they've used in order to learn how to do this and stuff like that. But there is no proof of concept attached to this or exploit. It's just the vulnerability itself, the bug itself. So what this means for Uncover or for Torin? Well, this means that they cannot take this like drag and drop and put it in Uncover and it would work. It's just a bug, but the bug is not an exploit. You can exploit a bug or a vulnerability and that would create an exploit that would be usable for jailbreak purposes, but not every bug is an exploit. So since this post here doesn't contain any exploit or any source code attached, just basically the information about where the bug is and how to exploit it, Pound Own from Uncover or Coolstar from the Torin team would have to basically get this vulnerability in here, follow these instructions and create an exploit for it. While this is not impossible, it would take more time. It's not as easy as dragging and dropping the files into Uncover and getting it to work. So while Brighty App did indeed release something, it's not an exploit and it's actually just a vulnerability. While useful, it still means that the Uncover team needs to work a little bit more in order to turn it into a proper exploit. And don't get me wrong, if you go ahead in here on iOS signing status, you can see exactly which firmware this will support. Let's say we're going to select iPhone 12 mini and you can see exactly the versions that will be supported. We're talking about 15.0, 15.0.1, 15.0.2, 15.1 and 15.1.1 because this was patched in 15.2. It's actually quite a good range, especially since iOS 15.2 beta 1 is still available and it's unknown for the moment whether this has been patched in the first beta of 15.2. It could have been patched only in the release or in the newer betas. You can try that if you already run 15.2.1 or 15.3 or 15.3.1. You can try to downgrade while it's still signed to the 15.2 beta 1 to see if this bug is still in there. It may or may not be. However, yes, this is a wealth of information for a security researcher like Pound Own from the Uncover team or for Coolstar from the Torin team, but it's not as straightforward as you may expect because this doesn't contain any source code. So they would have to use these instructions here, which are pretty useful, and they would have to create the exploit themselves. Though that shouldn't be a problem for the Uncover or for Torin team if they are interested enough. But yeah, that's what Brighty App posted. It's not exactly what they demonstrated here in this picture a couple of uh, months ago. Here they already had an exploit running, they did not publish the source code for this, they just published the bug itself and we would have to do the exploit ourselves. So still very useful but still requires a lot of work from the Uncover and Torin team. So yep, that's basically it, thank you for watching, this is what's happening currently in the jailbreak community, we'll keep you updated with anything and till next time, peace out.